Well, everyone, today I'm pretty excited because we get to talk about Echoes of Wisdom. It's been a small little bit, about a week and a half or so, since we've been able to talk about Echoes of Wisdom. One, there's just been all that Nintendo Direct and Nintendo Switch 2 rumors and all that stuff floating around. But now we get back to some legit information, some brand new details, some new side quests shown off and more for Echoes of Wisdom. And I couldn't be more excited to finally dive back in. So if you're enjoying this video and you want to stay as up to date on everything going on with Echoes of Wisdom, go ahead and subscribe to the channel as we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. First, we're going to start off with maybe the most exciting stuff, or at least one of the most exciting things. We got three different pieces of news for you here for Echoes of Wisdom in this video. Timestamps down below. This first one is brand new screenshots that reveal some new side quests. So, one of these screenshots, is, by the way, I did get Google translated. So if, you know, the wording might not be exactly the same when it's translated in the English official version. One of them appears to be about a side quest involving gathering up cuckoos, cuckoos. How do you actually pronounce that? You know, we haven't had voice acting in Zelda for very long. So I don't know if I actually know how to properly pronounce the chickens. But anyways, we've had similar quests like this in games such as Ocarina of Time, Breath of the Wild, and many other Zelda games. This is a very common quest. Uh, another one seems to be some sort of challenge to find a targeted man. Now, who is he targeted by? Is it just, I'm targeting them, and it's a game of hide-and-seek? Is it something else? Is it somebody who is like a thief, and I'm trying to catch them? I don't really know, but it's kind of mysterious, so I'm, I'm really curious what this quest is about. Another is a repeat of something we actually saw before in the footage where Zelda's talking to a Gerudo near a rift about how the candlestick flame has gone out, and we now know that this is part of some sort of side quest. Now, lastly, we see a screenshot of the adventure log. In it is a quest about flying plants and searching for them so a person in the village can cheer up his wife and the plants may have flown in the direction of a cave. Now we'll go and I'll show you guys quick the original Japanese screenshot so you guys can just have the originals. And we'll put a link down below where these came from. They came from the official Zelda X account, Twitter account, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, they have an official account and they posted these screenshots there. Pretty exciting stuff. They do regular updates over there, although for a while now, all the updates they did were just stuff they already put on the official website, which is why we didn't cover it, but this was some new stuff, so I decided that it was definitely worth getting into. You know what's also worth getting into, guys, that I haven't actually talked about on my channel yet? How about how Amiibo work in the game? Because there was an update to the game listing on the Nintendo eShop over in Japan. Now, this, again, has been Google translated now i'm pretty excited to show you this so let's go ahead and head over here where it says what can you do with this software as you can see this is echo about echoes of wisdom it says in addition to items that will be useful for your adventure which we don't know what those items are you may also be able to get different colors of clothing that can be obtained in the game so you might get like alternate styles alternate colors to some of the costumes we know zelda can put on in Echoes of Wisdom. I'm really curious about what the additional items will be, if this is just like crafting items for smoothies or more, as there may be possible echoes tied behind some of these amiibo. What I do find curious though, is that not all the Zelda amiibo are actually enabled to be used with Echoes of Wisdom. So, you know, unlike Tears of the Kingdom where you use them all, it's very limited here. So we obviously have the Ganondorf one from Tears of the Kingdom, the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom one, Link, uh, from Tears of the Kingdom, but then we have the Skyward Sword, the Link's Awakening, the Chil Child Link, you know, from Ocarina of Time. Uh, well, this is actually the Smash Bros. Link, to be fair, but it's from Ocarina of Time. Urbosa from Breath of the Wild, Daruk from Breath of the Wild, Mifo from Breath of the Wild, Rivali from Breath of the Wild, Link from Skyward Sword, Link from Twilight Princess, Link from Majora's Mask, uh, the Guardian from Breath of the Wild, uh, Zelda from Breath of the Wild, the Boko Hoblin from Breath of the Wild, Link Mounted from Breath of the Wild, the Bow from Breath of the Wild, Zelda, Wind Waker, and Toon Link. But you'll note that not every single amiibo, and not every single Zelda amiibo is compatible. I find that just to be pretty interesting that it's these specific ones. But then again, some of these territories like from Breath of the Wild do appear in Echoes of Wisdom. And obviously all the Link variations are usually just more Link stuff, Zelda variations, just more Zelda stuff. We know Ganon's in the game, so Ganondorf makes some sense. Uh, but yeah, pretty awesome, I guess I would say, uh, that we have this. Now, in addition... Uh, they are not, as far as we're aware, releasing brand new Amiibo for Echoes of Wisdom. Now, there is still time for them to announce new Amiibo for Echoes of Wisdom, but at the time of me making this video, they have not done that. They are re-releasing, and you could actually get pre-orders in at Best Buy, the Link's Awakening 
Amiibo, and they are re-releasing Zelda Toon Link. They're not, like, you can't just walk into the store and buy them right now, but they are available for pre-order. We'll put a link down in the description if you would like to get your pre-orders in for those Amiibo. Uh, so does that mean we're not going to get any? I kind of feel like restocking those might, might mean that we're not going to, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Now, the last thing uh, we have to get into is maybe the biggest thing happening with Echoes of Wisdom, and it happens in eight days. So we're actually about to be flooded with a ton of brand new Echoes of Wisdom footage in a little over a week. Echoes of Wisdom, along with Mario Party Jamboree, Nintendo World Championships, and Star Wars Hunters are going to have demos at PAX West in Seattle, which begins on August 30th. Now I am on the hunt for somebody going to PAX West uh, who would like to work with me so we can get some footage of Jamboree and Echoes of Wisdom specifically. Um, a, a bunch of footage would be awesome. I unfortunately will not be attending PAX West. I am planning to go to PAX West next year and in future years since Nintendo just keeps showing up with the goods, whether it's Nintendo Live or directly at PAX West. Kind of makes sense because Seattle is in Nintendo HQ's backyard. They're in Redmond, Washington. Seattle, Washington is pretty close to there. So uh, if you are someone attending PAX West and you would like to help me out with some footage uh, so I can do some extra coverage of the game and not just rely on like, you know, having to ask other people who are there and on their YouTube channels, hey, can I use your footage? No, let's get some of our own here at Nintendo Prime if you happen to be going. And look, all you're going to need is like your cell phone. You even have don't even have to have professional cameras and, and all that stuff. Just, just a cell phone, just a, a modern cell phone, not one that's like, you know, five years old. You know, something that's released in the last couple of years uh, should be able to get good enough footage for us to be able to do something with. Uh, so if you are attending PAX West, just reach out to Nathan at NintendoPrime.net if you're willing to work with me and work something out uh, so we can get some extra coverage of Echoes of Wisdom out of PAX West because I'd like to get footage up, you know, ASAP uh, if you happen to be beelining it to the Echoes of Wisdom demo. Don't go out of your way to do it, but if your plan, if you're going to PAX West, is the first thing I want to do is beeline it to Echoes of Wisdom Sweet, then you're probably the right person that we want to team up with uh, to get some footage. Now, that being said, guys, I want to thank you so much for being here. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime. And look, it, it always makes me happy to talk about Echoes of Wisdom because believe it or not, as hyped as I get for Switch 2, and I am pretty hyped, the reason I'm hyped is because of the games. Like, we keep talking about the platform, but it's the games, the games, the games. Because when Switch 2 is revealed, the floodgates will open with games. And so, like, I'm really happy today to be talking about Echoes of Wisdom because... Echoes of Wisdom is my most anticipated game this year. It might even end up being my personal game of the year. We'll have to wait and see. That is saying a lot. There's other games I'll be playing. You know, I, I can't guarantee. Like, I'm actually going to be playing The War Within later today. That's more of an expansion pack, so I don't know if I would count that for Goatee, but if I have more fun with War Within than I do Echoes of Wisdom, then maybe that ends up being the favorite, my favorite thing I play this year. Or maybe it'll end up being, you know, the Age of Mythology coming back. Or maybe it'll be Aura History Untold. Or maybe it'll be Emio, the Smiley Man. Or maybe Jamboree. I don't know. What I do know is I am so excited for Echoes of Wisdom. It has so much promise. It is everything I ever wanted a top-down game starring Zelda to be. Magic, mystery, uh, I can climb on top of the trees for crying out loud. Uh, pretty excited about all this, kind of combining some of my favorite things from Breath of the Wild in with some all-new gameplay concepts and ideas in a unexplored world that has familiar areas but then also changes them all up. Oh, man, am I excited. So I just want to thank you guys for being here. I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I hope you look forward to all the Echoes of Wisdom coverage we're clearly going to have to have, not this weekend, but next weekend, just due to all the new footage that's going to come out. There might be new interviews that happen. Uh, there could be new updates to websites and screenshots, and who the heck knows, guys. I'm, I'm just excited. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.